Hello, welcome. I'm so glad that you've joined in. Today we are going to learn how to set up a Google Meet meeting for your business or for your classroom if you want to meet with your kids or if you're an entrepreneur or you have a company you want to have a business meeting so let's get started now the very first thing that you must be able to do or the very first thing that you should do is have your Google suite open and what you'll do is you'll click on the little grid you will scroll down to where it says meet you will click on meet once that opens, you will then click where it says start a meeting. So we'll click on start a meeting. And once you get to start a meeting, you will then click where it says join now. Okay, now let's stop and let's pause for a minute. They gave you details. So you'll go to meeting details. If you notice there was information in the middle of your pop-up. If that pop-up disappears like it just did for myself, you can go down here where it says meeting details. What you will do then is you will copy these meeting details and you will paste them in an email and send them out to, as a block email or individually to the individuals that you want to be a part of this um, meeting that you are setting up. Whether if it's your class, you can place it in class dojo in the post, or you can send it in a, a different type of block email or post on another social media platform, which is um, or teacher platform like Seesaw. Um, there are ways to, if you do it through a social media, you can send it through Messenger privately, and you can click all the individuals that you would like to have on there as well. So. Once you send all of this information out, then they will click on at the time that you tell them. So you have to tell them a time, okay? Now, let's say your meeting's getting ready to start or before you wanna prep for your meeting, you need to know where everything is. Well, this button right here, I've already done so, will blank out your video. So it will mute your video or hide your video so people cannot see you. So if you wanna hold the video without the camera, then this is what you will click. If you are having a meeting and you wanna tell everyone at the beginning of the meeting, please mute your microphones and when asked to speak, please unmute it and talk. That is the best deal to do because you will have a lot of noise going on in the background with these meetings. So this is where you would mute your mic. The telephone uh, emblem in the middle means that you are ending the entire meeting, the entire call. That's why they have that, like you're hanging up. So this ends your meeting. So be careful not to click this while you are having a meeting. Okay, there are extensions that you can um, download. So sometimes you can um, download an extension. On my other computer, I have an extension where you can raise your hand. So when you download the extension, it will show up in your grid and then you'll have a little bar where you can raise your hand and that's how people can um, communicate that they wanna talk during the meeting. Here in this right hand corner, this is where it shows you who is logged on during the meeting and who has attended this meeting. And here's a chat box where you guys can talk and ask questions and you can read the questions if you are presenting, which leads me to the bottom where it says present now. Different people can present at different times and you can share your screen. So here is where you will click to present now. I would suggest playing around with that before the meeting even starts to make sure that you understand that your um, how to share your screen so that you understand how to share your screen and make sure that it's working correctly. If you have hearing impaired individuals and some people really want to read the dialogue at the bottom, this is where you would click for um, to turn on the captions. Okay, this was a quick quick setup there's other things that you can do during your meeting but this at least gives you an introduction on being able to at least hold a meeting okay this is enough information that I have presented to you where you can actually hold your meeting you let everybody know the meeting is over and at that time you will click on this phone emblem and you will say 
meeting adjourned or meeting over however you close your meetings or goodbye class see you next time okay so uh, if you want to know how to screen shoot as well you would take shift command and the number four and you can screen shoot if you want to take a picture of your class all being inside the grid together um, that's if you have a MacBook Pro until next time I'm so glad that you were able to come on I'm I hope that this helps a lot of educators a lot of business people be able to hold meetings using Google Meet um, there will be another video on how to hold a meeting using zoom so until next time, please like and share and subscribe to our Deal Purple Geniuses Learning Channel YouTube and visit our website and subscribe there and also join if you have kids or know of kids so that they can learn with us on our online educational platform at DealPurpleGeniuses.com. Thank you and goodbye.